Hello and welcome everyone to part 8 of Field Service Lightning series. Today we'll discuss everything related to Dispatcher Console, GAN Chart and Scheduling Optimizer. A very quick introduction about me. My name is Khyati Mehta. I live in Kolkata, India. I'm working as a Salesforce developer at Cognizant and Technology Solutions. I am a proud marketing champion. I also lead the Salesforce Women in Tech group, Kolkata. I have run multiple initiatives in India, like helping underprivileged children with Salesforce and helping special students with Salesforce, and for which I was recently featured on Salesforce blog for my outreach work. I love everything about community and helping and giving back to the community. Hence, I'm a community speaker, a trailhead mentor. I also have a blog of my own named as All About Salesforce and a podcast that I run, which is named as Salesforce Offbits with Kathy. You can always connect with me over LinkedIn and Twitter. I would be really happy to connect with you all. So today's agenda is Dispatcher Console. We'll cover the features of CanChart and we'll talk about scheduling optimizer. These are uh, some of the important topics when it comes to field service lightning. So let's understand what is a Dispatcher Console. We have definitely seen this um, earlier uh, in, in our parts. Uh, so the field service Dispatcher Console is the main working space for dispatchers. It features a dynamic map and a highly customizable GAN chart showing upcoming appointments, active team members, and more. So this is a field service managed package feature and uh, the console is supported on desktop only for the best dispatcher console experience. Um, it is recommended using the screen resolution of 1920 into 1080 pixels or a minimum of 1366 into 768 pixels at 100% zoom. Now you can do a lot of things with dispatcher console. You can uh, just customize the dispatcher console and make the dispatcher console work for you. You can adjust the time frame and contents of the appointment list and Gantt customize each section's layout, create custom actions for dispatchers, and create custom appointment list filters. You can work in the dispatcher console appointment list. Um, the service appointment list on the left side of the dispatcher console uh, contains a list of service appointments. Um, you can simply filter, sort, and search within the list and perform actions on selected appointments. Um, the next is uh, you can work in uh, dispatcher console Gantt. The Gantt is located on the right side of the dispatcher console and contains the resource list and the schedule view and uh, additional features. Uh, you can also work in the dispatcher console map. The dispatcher console map gives dispatchers a dynamic bird's eye view of their mobile workforce. Uh, you can learn how to customize the map view and draw territories directly on the map. Uh, you can uh, control which appointments appear in the dispatcher console. Now dispatchers can um, view and filter service appointments in the appointment list and in the Gantt chart. You can simply learn how to control which appointments appear in these sections of the dispatcher console. You can also customize the dispatcher console with field sets. Um, you, uh, you can use field sets to control which fields appear in different sections of the field service dispatcher console. For example, choose uh, which fields appear as columns in the appointment list. You can also create custom actions for the dispatcher consoles. Uh, simply put the right action at your dispatcher's fingertips by adding custom actions to the dispatcher console. The custom actions can either call an Apex class or open a visual force page and can be run on records in several areas of the dispatcher console. To keep the dispatcher console tidy, um, actions um, are shown in the drop down action list with icons. You can also create custom appointment list filters. Uh, you can simply create custom filters to control which appointments appear in the dispatcher console service appointment list um, base, uh, based on your uh, filters on um, service appointment fields. You can simply add custom logic. Dispatchers can also create uh, private filters or share them with others. Um, you can also create custom appointment icons. Um, uh, you can add custom icons to service appointments on the Gantt. 
a map and appointment list so dispatchers can quickly identify appointment characteristics. For example, uh, you can use a custom icon to indicate that an appointment is for a VIP or a first time customer. So uh, over here in the image, you can see the dispatcher console with the Gantt, the map, and all of the features. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, these are uh, certain parts of the dispatcher console. So let's move on to the org and uh, see the dispatcher console and understand on what these parts mean. So we are here in the org. Um, let's go to field service app. Simply go to the app launcher and uh, find on field service um, and then click on field service tab. So now you see uh, the, field, uh, the dispatcher console. Also, before understanding on what the dispatcher console and Gantt chart features means, uh, let's uh, take a brief on what is Gantt chart. So the Gantt chart is located on the right side of the dispatcher console and contains the resource list, the scheduled view, and additional features. So let's move on to the org back again, and uh, let's understand one by one. So the first uh, feature is um, this over here. Uh, so it basically, um, access, uh, it basically assesses the health of your schedule at a glance by checking the KPI. KPI is um, key performance indicator bar uh, in the top right. So this is the key performance indicator bar. Um, the bar shows stats like um, total schedule time, um, average travel time per appointment, and the number of appointments that are in the jeopardy. The next uh, part is this one over here. So you can use this filter. So this is a filter at the top of the Gantt to filter which mobile workers or and records appear on the Gantt. For example, um, filter mobile workers by skill or resource type. From the filter, you can also control which hours of the day are shown. Now you can also apply a custom color uh, scheme and uh, customize the long term and utilization views. The third one is this one over here. So uh, this basically controls the time frame using the arrows and the calendar. So if I click on this, you can simply see that this time will be changed to tomorrow. And same for this, uh, like it will change the previous one. You can simply if you don't want to go, uh, if you want to go a week ahead or uh, before so you can simply click on this calendar and click on the day you want to go and you can simply see the appointments and everything the fourth part is this over here so um the resource list uh, shows um so this is this is where the resource list is so you can simply search for a uh, sorry you can also search for an appointment also um so the resource list shows mobile workers organized by um territory uh, and the fifth view is this one so uh, the schedule view so this is called the schedule view so the schedule view at the center basically shows the appointments the absences breaks travel times and uh, service queue assignments so uh, this is what the features of dispatcher console and the Gantt chart means. So if I go to map over here, so I can simply see the map, I can enter a location and go to the map view, or if you wanna to go to the satellite, you can go to the satellite view as well. And um, this is how you can, um, uh, you can uh, see what the appointments are for a particular resource. So uh, let's also understand um, the left section of the dispatcher console in deep. Um, so the appointment list um, is easy to customize. Uh, you can filter, sort, and search within the list. And uh, uh, you can use this drop down and see what you want. And you can accordingly choose it. Um, so let's understand the first part, which is the policy given over here. So you can choose the policy field service. Uh, uses uses um, to schedule appointments. Uh, you can just click on the drop down and select according what you want. The second is uh, this uh, section over here. So um, 
use this to select the service territories to display appointments um, not associated with the service territory. So you can simply choose what you want and click on save and uh, see accordingly. The third one is just beside the beside the one that we discussed now. Um, you can use this to customize the appearance of the appointment list, such as appointments per phase. Uh, the fourth one is this tab, which is called a uh, time frame. Um, you can basically choose different types of dates to display or set a time zone. The fifth part is this the whole thing. Um, this basically is a service appointments uh, where all the service appointments will be displayed and you can filter um, such as viewing only unscheduled appointments like this. You can just filter and choose what you want and you can see accordingly. And uh, this is how you can use dispatcher console and it's quite easy to use so that you get everything that's happening in your org and you can see everything over here with your resources with your service territories with what service appointments are being um, assigned what is what which um which service resources on leave and what's happening you can simply check everything from here uh you don't have to like this basically makes your life easy you don't have to go here and there and check things out on uh, where is the service resource or um, is the service resource on holiday or uh, you know he, whether he's doing anything or not um, whether uh, what, what time is the work or like, what time is the service appointment being assigned uh, which place it is being assigned what is the service territory so you can simply do anything you want so you can also filter the gantt as I said, you can customize the GANs contents by filtering um, based on services or settings, skills, utilizations, hours, and other features. You can filter it by service territory. Um, the GAN territory filter controls which appointments are shown in the GAN and appointment list. Um, in a field service operation with numerous service territories, uh, the faster you can control which territories are shown, the better. Uh, you you can also use the GAN keyboard shortcuts to work faster in the dispatcher console. Um, you can also view resource utilizations uh, to make smarter scheduling and hiring decisions. You can simply view your service resources individual utilization percentage. Uh, you can see each resource utilization percentage for a particular day or over multiple days and sort resources in the GAN by utilization. You can also color code the GAN uh, which helps dispatchers compare service appointments in the dispatcher console Gantt and map at a glance by simply creating custom color palettes based on a service appointment feed. For example, you can create a palette that displays appointments in a custom color spectrum uh, based on the proximity of the due date. Um, you can also view service crews on the Gantt. Um, this basically controls how service crews are displayed on the Gantt in the field service dispatcher console. Uh, you can also view resource absence on the Gantt and the map. Uh, this makes things easier for your dispatches. Um, uh, and uh, it shows resource absences on the dispatcher console map as well. Um, you can also view appointment KPIs on the Gantt. This basically acts as is the health of um, the field service operation at a glance with the help of the Gantt KPI. You can check rule violations on the Gantt. Rule violations occur when a service appointment does not follow predefined scheduling rules. Examples of rule violation includes travel time conflicts and appointments that aren't scheduled between their earliest start permitted and due date. You can also turn on Gantt live updates. Uh, this basically choose to have the Gantt auto fresh at a specified frequency so dispatches don't have to rely on timed updates. Gantt Live Updates relies on the Salesforce Streaming API. So this is all about the Dispatcher Console and the Gantt and how it makes uh, dispatchers life easy by having everything in a page. So let's understand um, the next part, which is the Scheduling Optimizer. So uh, Scheduling Optimizer uh, is not same as the scheduling policy, definitely. Um, um, it's it's an optimizer. So what, what does it do? So uh, you can simply optimize a single resource schedule or uh, you can simply optimize um, the way you want to optimize. 
So uh, the question arises is watch, watch schedule optimization. Um, manually constructing an efficient field service schedule can drive uh, the most serene administration to madness. So field service uh, optimization tool does the work for you by generating an optimal schedule according to your priorities and constraints. Um, so uh, there are a lot of options. You can uh, define the scope of optimization to include an entire service territory schedule or just a single resource schedule. Um, there's something called global optimization. You can optimize your team schedule for one or more service territories across a specified range of days. You can configure this type of optimization to run regularly. For example, every evening or every morning, something like that. Or you can run it manually as needed. So global optimization is the most thorough and powerful type of optimization and therefore takes the most time to complete. Um, the next is in-day optimization. It basically navigates last minute schedule, um, which up, uh, schedule upsets by um, rapidly optimizing your team schedule for more uh, for one or more service territories on the day of service. The next is resource optimization. Um, it basically optimizes an individual service resources schedule on the day of service. Um, Schedule optimization is based on several custom components uh, that helps you fine tune your scheduling operations, such as scheduling policy, work rule, service objective, relevance group. Um, so we have discussed this already. Um, optimization um, can move appointments that were previously scheduled. For example, optimization uh, can reassign an appointment when it finds a slot with a better grade or when it tries to fix an overlap. If an optimization unschedules an appointment and can't find another suitable slot, uh, the appointment remains unscheduled after the optimization is complete. So you can optimize a single resource schedule. Um, when last minute developments occur like cancel job, late, lateness or emergencies, you can optimize an individual service resources schedule to design the best schedule for them. Um, for this, you need to go to field service admin app. So let's click on the app launcher and find in the field service admin app, click on that. And then click on field service settings. And then click on optimization and then click on logic. So over here uh, at the bottom of the page, you can select service appointment statuses to exclude service uh, exclude from resource schedule optimization uh, these preferences are uh, are like also apply to indie optimization so uh, you can basically optimize as you want and uh, you can simply see what you want so if you want uh, in the global optimization, you can do it here. If you want in day and the source schedule optimization, you can simply schedule like uh, select and save. And once you click on save, um, it basically optimizes it. So this is how um, a scheduling optimizer work. I hope the session was helpful to you all. See you all at the next part of field service lightning series. Thank you all.